First, let's talk about the technical side of drawing, about the tools you need for this course. One of the great things at drawing, it requires a very little investment. As a beginner, forget the famous brands and expensive tools. Your success will depend on brands the least. The cheapest equipment will just do. To learn the basics, you will need cheap office papers, a graphite pencil, pencil sharpener, and an eraser. Let's talk about pencils first. You probably notice one of these marks on your pencil, like 2H, HB, or 2B. These are hardness and softness grades. I made some scales with different pencils. On the left side of a scale, I applied very little pressure on the paper and increased it towards the right. On the right, you can see the darkest tone I could achieve with the highest pressure without breaking the tip of the pencil. H stands for hardness. The higher the number is, the harder the graphite will be. With an H pencil, you can draw light, thin strokes and the tip of the pencil will remain sharp longer. So, an H pencil is a hard graphite for making light strokes. The B stands for blackness. B pencils have softer graphite. You can draw darker and bolder strokes with them. With a higher B number, you can achieve a darker tone on the paper. B pencils are great for shading. HB pencils are somewhere in the middle. You can also find pencils with F grading, which is a little bit harder than an HB, but less hard than an H pencil. Here, at the bottom, you can see a full scale. I use seven different grades for this example. Anyway, whatever type of pencil you have, it will be just fine for this course. If you intend to buy one, I suggest something in the middle in the hardness scale. Buy for example a 2H and a 2B pencil. I have to note that we are not the same. There are heavy-handed and light-handed people. If you are heavy-handed, you probably need a harder pencil like a 4 H to be able to create light strokes. If you are light-handed, a 2B pencil will be fine for you. But this is really something you need to test. You can also use a mechanical pencil. In the stores around me, it is sold with 2B leads. But I suggest a traditional pencil for this class in order to be able to try out each technique I'm going to show you. For the long term, I encourage you to try out different pencils and work with the ones you like the best. Quick tip. If you take drawing seriously, you will have a bunch of pencils. Manufacturers usually mark them only on one side. When you have 15 different pencils, it's kind of exhausting to find a certain grade. So as you can see, I marked my pencils on each side. Now it's easy to pick the one I need from the stack. I used a white gel pen for marking and let it dry. The traditional pencil requires a sharpener of course. The most basic sharpener we just do for sketching. For sketching, a regular vinyl eraser is just fine. But later, you might want to get a kneaded eraser like this. It provides much more control over erasing, which will be extremely useful in shading. 